Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about addition theorem of probability and multiplication theorem on probability as well as conditional probability. Now the theorem statement is like this. Addition theorem of probability. If A and B are any two events, A and B are any two events, then we have to prove probability of P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. To prove this one, we will draw one Venn diagram having a set A and another set B. In the middle one is A intersection B. A intersection B bar. What is mean by A intersection B bar? B bar means not B. A intersection B bar means not B. A intersection not B. A intersection B bar is this part. This part is called A intersection B bar. B bar means not B. Now this part is A bar intersection B. A bar means not A intersection B. This part only this part is A bar intersection B. Only this part is A intersection B bar. The middle one is A intersection B. Now like this it is. Now here if you observe the diagram A means the complete A and this part A bar intersection B. This part means this half. Only this half. A bar intersection B. A and A bar intersection B are disjoint sets. Therefore, we can write A union B. A union B, the complete one. A union B is equal to the complete A union. Only this part. A means complete A. And this one. A bar intersection B. Now, taking both sides P. P of a union B is equal to these two are disjoint sets that is why P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of A bar intersection B because disjoint sets that is why you will get P of A plus P of A bar intersection B but P of A bar intersection B is equal to this part how can you get this part only this part A bar intersection B is equal to the complete B minus P of A intersection B P of a bar intersection B, only this part, how can you get this part? From the whole B, P of B minus P of A intersection B. If you remove this one, you will get P of A bar intersection B. Now, now if you substitute this uh, uh, A, P of A bar intersection B bar is equal to P of B minus P of A intersection B in the above, you will get P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. This is the theorem hence proved. Now the next one is uh, <coughs> for three union uh, for three events P of A union A and B and C are any three events then what we have to prove? We have to prove P of A union B union C is equal to P of A plus P of B plus P of C minus P of A intersection B minus P of B intersection C minus P of A intersection C plus P of A intersection B intersection C. This one we have to prove. Uh, <coughs> We have we know that we know that by addition theorem probability P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Now we have to now P of A union B union C is equal to we are writing we are taking A union B as one one term P of A union B union C is equal to P of A union B plus P of C minus P of A union B intersection C using the above theorem. Now using the distributive law, if you apply the distributive law to this one, P of A union B intersection C is equal to P of A intersection C union P of B intersection C, we can write. The substituting this distributive law here, you will get P of A union B union C, P of A union B union C is equal to P of A union B is equal to again P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B plus P of C minus this one this one uh, using this one p of a intersection c union p of b intersection c again this one we can write as p of a intersection c minus p of b intersection c using the above theorem this one minus this one we can write now if you simplify the complete one you will get the whole like this hence proved now conditional probability Conditional probability. What is mean by conditional probability? 
Now, if A and B are two dependent events, dependent A and B are two dependent events. Now, the conditional probability, conditional, conditional means some condition is there. What is that condition? I will tell you. The conditional probability of A given B, probability, conditional probability of A given B means, what is the meaning of that conditional probability A given B means, probability of occurrence of A when the event B has already happened, when the event B has already happened, it is generated by uh, the event already B occurred, now we are finding the occurrence of A, already uh, the event A, uh, already the event B happened, now we are finding the probability of occurrence of A, it is denoted by B is already occurred means P of A by B. Already the event e, B is happened. Now we are finding the probability of probability of happening of an event A. Already B happened. Now it is denoted by P of A by B. Now the formula it is denoted like this P of A by B and is defined as P of A by B is equal to P of A by B is equal to P of A intersection B by P of B. This is the definition of Conditional probability. This conditional probability we have to use in Bayes theorem in so many times. Bayes theorem especially if P of A by B means the event B already occurred. Now we are finding the probability of occurrence of A. Remember. Now in the same way P of B by A also. B by A. What is mean by P of B by A? Probability, the conditional probability of B by A means the <coughs> event A already occurred. Now we are finding the probability of occurrence of B. It is denoted by P of B by A and is defined as P of A intersection B by P of B. P of A intersection B by P of A. Now, therefore, if you cross multiply P of A intersection B is equal to, you will get like this. Now, this conditional probability in Bayes theorem also number of times we, can, we have to use. P of B by A means the event A already occurred. Now, we are finding the probability of occurrence of B. Now, in the same way, P of A by B means the event already, the event B already happened. Now, we are finding the probability of happen, the probability of happening of an event A denoted by P of A by B. Formula is equal to P of A by B is equal to P of A intersection B by P of B. In the same way, this is one formula and this is another formula. This formula, if you cross multiply P of A intersection B is equal to, you can write like this. This is about conditional probability. We have to use using in um, uh, some, uh, some other theorems also. Now, the next one is the multiplication theorem of probability. The multiplication theorem of probability is if A and B are dependent events in a sample space S, A and B are dependent events in a sample space S, then what we have to prove? We have to prove that P of A intersection B is equal to P of A into P of B by A. Otherwise, P of A intersection B is equal to P of B into P of A by B. Either like this or like this, we have to prove. This is the multiplication theorem on probability. Now, here P of B by A is a conditional probability and P of A by B also conditional probability. Now, proof. Now, let N be the, to prove this theorem, what we are assuming, let capital N be the number of samples points in the sam in, in S. N, capital N is the total number of elementary events in the sample space S. Now, NA is the number of, NA and NB are number of favorable cases of the events A and B. Now, small N, NA and NB are the number of favorable cases of event A and event B. Capital N is the total number of elementary events. Now, therefore, P of A, probability of happening of an event, P of A, is equal to Na by N, P of B, NB by N, P of A intersection B is equal to N, AB by N. Now, in the same way, conditional probability formula, P of A by B is equal to, just now I told you the definition of conditional probability, P of A by B is equal to P of A intersection B by P of B. This one we can write as, P of A intersection B means, um, <coughs> P of uh, N, A, B by N, B, N, A, B by N, B. P 
of a by b conditional probability p of a by b is equal to p of a intersection b means n a by, by n a b by n by p of b means n b by n n n get cancel n a b by n b in the same way p of b by a is equal to you will get n a b by n a you will get now what you have to do the conditional probability definition the these two we wrote now p of a intersection b is equal to p of a intersection b is equal to what is the formula n a b by n now this one i am rewriting as p of a intersection b is equal to n a b by n this one i am rewriting as n a b by n a into n a by n this n a n a get cancelled means again you will get the same i am rewriting p of a intersection b in this form n a b by n i am rewriting this one in this form now n a n a get cancelled means again you will get the same n a b by n a into n a by n now n n a b by n a is nothing but p of b by a and n a by n is nothing but p of a <clears throat> in the same way another one p of a intersection b is equal to in the same way we can write p of a intersection b is equal to n a b by n a b by n n a b by n we can rewrite as n a b by n b into n b by n now n b n b get cancel means again you will get the same now this is equal to p of a by b into p of b now from this uh, after that we can write uh, p of uh, uh, cross multiply therefore if you cross multiply p of uh, b by a is equal to p of a intersection b by p of a in the same way cross multiply p of a by b is equal to p of a intersection b by p of b now this is about multiplication theorem on probability hence proved now note if a and b are independent events if two events are independent p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b you will get enough for today thank you thank you